Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, we've seen Neela Samandar in Daudi or usse pehle bhi. Then we've seen Khuni Samandar. And everything Devara part one is all about is between these two things, right? It's like you've covered the entire spectrum. What is Devara for you and what is happening here? Tell us. <clears throat> Devara for me, obviously, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not only a film, but it's, it's a journey with Kortal Shiva for, for many years. Uh, we've known each other since this movie of mine called uh, Brindavan. The Shiva was the writer for the movie. And uh, it was it was this growth of friendship between me and him. And then when he started off as a filmmaker, my 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 interest towards him, my respect towards him, has only increased with every film he's done. But I mean, it was very tough for him to sustain that kind of blockbusters which he's delivered. It's only because Shiva has nothing in mind but the story of the film. It keeps running in his head. He just needs the right space. He just needs the right people around him to just excel in it. And when our journey started, right before RRR released, so he came up with this idea of uh, this, this, this protagonist. Usually in commercial mainstream movie, we have a protagonist Coming from the downtrodden, you know, when there is absolute zero courage, the protagonist comes forward, gives courage to the people who needs, you know, who, who needs courage, takes them and goes forward. But here there's a flip to Devra. So when courage is completely, you know, when it's filled to the brim, when it exceeds, there needs to be a certain amount of fear. And the protagonist is actually trying to give in fear and actually give in courage. So that for me, I, 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 for me was a, was a phenomenal idea. And, 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 and then we started our journey of Devra. And here, I hope we've, 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 we've lived up to the expectations of the trailer. And uh, that's about it. You know, whatever we've seen up till now is phenomenal. Right? As I said, we are like full of that intensity, that angst. It's, it's in all of us. Talk to us about these action sequences. Devra is, uh, you know, I've been, you know, when uh, uh, Karan sir and uh, Apurva sir and Anil sir, the three mascots of Devra, the three musketeers as well, <laughs> when they stepped in, you know, Shiva, when he narrated the script to them, and uh, when they saw a few visuals of the movie, I mean, I was really shocked seeing their reactions. I mean, and that's when I came to know that, you know, this movie will definitely work. This movie is, I would call it an action drama. It is extremely high in action. I mean, Sev, sir, you definitely agree with me. There were some physically strenuous action sequence we both have been part of. It is, it is definitely high on action. Peter Hines, and we had Anil Arasu, and then especially we had Solomon, Solomon who's worked for RRR as well, National Award winner. He has actually extensively worked on the overwater and the underwater sequences of Devra. We've shot for about 38 odd days underwater and about close to 60 odd days over water. So that itself was a chunk of 100 days to 80 to 100 days. So it is phenomenal action, action you probably haven't seen before. The kind of water interactions, the kind of CGI's we've blended into those action sequences are phenomenal. So Devra is very high on action. And uh, I would just, just can't wait for the world to see it. I'm sure, sir, we're gonna love it. Ekbar, zordar taliya for this amazing team, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we have a set of these questions that I've uh, 